welcome to the New School Wedding Photographer Podcast. I'm Taylor Jackson. I'm Tyler James. Our background is green this time. Uh, we chose green because it's, it's, it's nice. It's My, green. <laughs> it's greeny. Marshall, our cameraman, I wish we had a camera on him, is going like this. Um, perhaps it is raining cheddar. Um, yeah, so today, uh, I guess we're sponsored again by uh, Olive Album Co., as well as Jackrabbit Post Processing. And uh, we're here to tell you about wedding things. And um, yeah. All right, so I think we're gonna get into a little bit more about posing today, specifically how we pose, you know, couples and groups and things like that, yeah. so. So we're gonna attempt to walk through it and kind of see how that goes. Yeah. All right, so I'll, uh, I don't know, how do, you, how do you like to pose? Like, see, I'm pretty, I'm pretty informal with my posing. Like, I, I do basically the whole coaching thing where I'll put couples into positions and yeah. I'll, uh, you know, throw your hand around their waist, face each other kind of thing, and then, I do my best to uh, let them do their own thing, but you always end up with those um, tougher, not so, you know, yeah. camera ambitious types of couples. So in that case, um, I, I jump in and I help a little bit more. Um, I find that, um, I think it was, I think I kind of coined the term in my brain. I don't know if it existed. Just kind of like that forced candid photojournalism. Yeah. Where I'll put people in a specific scenario, uh, nothing too formal ever, yeah. and just kind of, see what they do. Um, I'm always, I think that my socialness, I guess, is more important than the actual camera skill uh, for most yeah. part. Because if I'm talking to a couple, um, usually they're just kind of relaxed a little more and maybe if it's five minutes into the shoot, maybe they're still a little tense and those images are coming back and I can still see that they're still a little eh. Yeah. Um, but like as the day goes on, or as the, I guess, hour or two hour, if it's a photo session goes. Yeah. Um, they loosen up, and then at that point, it's just more of a conversation, and just be like, "Hey, go sit on that, or go jump off that, and yeah. walk, or run, or jump, or skip, or lay on your stomachs in the grass and put your feet up." It's it's basically earning their confidence. It's true though, like yeah. that's what happens. Like you can once people, you, you know, like if you try and put somebody in a goofy position at the start of a session, yeah. they're gonna be like, uh, "You see that like look on their face yeah. where they they look terrible," and then they're just as they warm up, you can put them in any position you want and they just trust you and they, they sense mm -hmm. your confidence and they just kind of trust that it's going to look good. Yeah, I think that's another important part with um, engagement sessions. Yeah. So that whenever you do the e-session, um, they see the, those images before the actual wedding. So they have that extra mm -hmm. layer of confidence that if you ask them to do something stupid, like hopefully it's going to look pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you call it out if it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you maybe want to walk through? Um, I guess we kind of just did that. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> when it comes to like specific problem thing, like I, I don't know, I try and just maintain conversations with, with my couples, you know, talk. It's, it's very hard sometimes when you're pulling the wall up to your face, yeah. but I mean, I just ask them about what's going on, how the wedding planning's going, and um, crack the odd joke. Mm -hmm. How do you select locations whenever you're looking for? That's, that's interesting. I, based on kind of my brand and my feel for image, I definitely am the kind of green field backlight type of guy. Green yeah. backlight? See, look at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so I, I don't really, unless the couple's actually asking for it, but I actually have a questionnaire that I send the couple yeah. that asks them about themselves. And then what I do is I try and tailor that engagement session to that couple's personality. Yeah. So if they feel like they want edgy and kind of urban, then I'll try and gear more towards that, Absolutely. even though my, I don't really like that personally. Um, I'll do it upon the couple's request, but that's usually I'll stick into the whole nature setting with some nice light and yeah. that makes me happy. I try to find locations that are both kind of close to urban textures as yeah. well as green space. Yeah. And I'll usually tell, uh, for an engagement shoot, for example, I'll tell them to bring kind of two sets of clothing, some yeah. things yeah. to start off a little more formal and usually I kind of pair that with uh, something a little more texture base and then yeah. Usually whenever they switch to something a little more casual um, is when we kind of go take a wander through a park, find some trees, that type of thing. Yeah. I think, I think that's important too is like knowing, you know, that's how you get variety, like basically yeah. more mileage out of your engagement sessions. Yeah, because you can do that. two locations like that in yeah. an hour and the photos for look sure. different enough that everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, how many minutes are we at there? <laughs> Five minutes. That seems about adequate for yeah. uh, what we're trying to do here. 
If you, we really need to set up a mirror so that we can just see Marshall just like on his iPad <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> um, so again, um, like any questions you have, feel free to drop them in the YouTube comment bar that'll be down here, um, or kind of send us Twitters at Taylor Jackson or at Tyler James Photo. Yeah, and we'll try to include them in the show and see how it goes from there. All right, thanks for tuning in again. <laughs> <laughs> That was tough.